well, as, as the name says, it's uh, pre-sales and consulting. So I'm the first contact for potential customers, showing them our system, giving a nice demo, explaining how our system is working, and, um, and answering basically the first questions they have uh, concerning print and uh, how does it work. Because most of the customers come from uh, manual way of working to produce their catalogs, having first contact with PIM systems nowadays, and then uh, starting to think about, well, how can we automate our, our print solution now? And uh, so you start explaining that, basically. And that's a uh, very, um, very exciting topic because you, you realize when they see your solution and they, uh, the customers realize, well, what is nowadays possible with it and uh, how to automate their work. Uh, so it's quite an easy story to tell? Uh, the story itself is easy, but the topic itself is complex. So um, the, um, our software makes it easy to understand, but uh, as the publishing topic itself is very complex to produce those catalogs, um, customers realize very fast, well, there's a lot of opportunities in there and a lot of uh, potential but it will also take some time to get that into, uh, into their processes and into their company. Well, it is uh, changing in the way that uh, customers uh, a couple of years ago were happy when they just got a, uh, uh, a database-driven publishing solution, so a kind of a database and then having a uh, publishing like InDesign solution with our Comet plugin. Uh, nowadays, they are demand is changing in the way that they want to attach multiple content systems, merging that data within our publishing hub, and um, in the end, having still a completely automatic way of working and an automatic way of uh, producing the catalogs. And that is uh, making the whole uh, publishing process more and more complex over years. Um, yes, I'm, I'm the one who's, uh, well, as I said, the, one of the first contacts uh, with the customers and I usually explain that we are a, a software vendor and we are focusing on, on developing the software and therefore we have a strong partner network and um, somewhere in time when, uh, when the customer is uh, starting to decide to use our software, I'm also um, selecting usually two or three partners which I introduce to that customer so that the customer can choose well which one fits best to me. Of course we give an advice who we would, um, um, who we would recommend uh, but in the end it's the customer's choice and um, we're, we're tr always trying to, uh, to advise the best partner fit here. Of course, well, we had uh, one example is, uh, which I always use in my pre-sales talks uh, or discussions is uh, Peter Justesen as a good example because they were really driving towards a um, zero correction cycle process and to start uh, realizing that the zero correction cycles within a within a uh, publishing process is a really big challenge because your um, your organization usually is driven in a way that uh, that you you accept five or ten correction cycles for for a single page and now with our software you're able to say well we don't need a correction cycle because the data comes from the PIM system and it's correct in there and uh, you, you accept the same way of working like uh, working with a, uh, with a website because you're not co correcting every single website and do correction cycles here. And that is a big, uh, big challenge for companies nowadays. In a certain way, with our best practice approach, yes, if uh, companies attach to that best practice approach, they're going to have to change their, their organization. Um, and um, in the end, we're, we're doing the uh, same things like the big uh, consulting companies. They always advise to change the processes to optimize them. And as we have a lot of experience in the publishing process, we also advise to go for the best practice here. And uh, some customers, of course, uh, stick to it and say, yes, that's perfect for us now and we have to change. Some just take it, uh, take, 
the pieces out of that process which they need and they, they keep their old process in some parts running. But that is uh, also a good thing with our software. It's so flexible like we, that we can adopt to all those different variations of the process. They are usually the, um, let's say we have uh, two, uh, two topics to cover. One is the demonstration of our software to con convince them, to show that we are able to do what they need. And the other one is then afterwards uh, showing them that we have uh, successful projects with existing customers and that they are really happy that it's not only us telling the prospects. And uh, so we, uh, we are continuously having uh, reference calls between the prospects and the existing customers. And uh, also Peter Justesen is a good example. They are happy to, to tell everybody that they like our software and the new processes uh, which they established are fine.